experience personally uh, as a mayor uh, was something that I just couldn't sit back and not say anything about. Uh, when you start to see the quality of life in your community being diminished, you know, in Hazleton, uh, while I was mayor, our population grew by 50%. So can you imagine Sunbury growing by 50%, but the tax revenue <coughs> stayed the same. So mayor, I don't know how you would do that if your city grew by 50%, but you didn't have any more money in tax revenue from the 50% more that were there to provide services for them. For, for, for provide services for the people. Eventually, you can't do it. You simply can't do it. I didn't have enough police. We didn't have enough. We just couldn't. I just couldn't do it anymore. I went to Washington. I didn't. I didn't wake up one day and say, you know, I think I'm going to pick on illegal immigrants so that I can get on Blue Dog Show. It was a problem that I was having, and I didn't know how to deal with it because we didn't have the resources to 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 bring to the problem. And. You know, I remember one day coming to City Hall and there was an elderly woman standing in my parking spot. When I got out of the car, she started hitting me in the chest with her finger. And she said, listen, Buster, you better do something. I have become a prisoner in my own home. I can't even sit on my porch anymore. I was born and raised in Hazelden. I walked up to my office and I, I felt pretty bad. <clears throat> you know, to be the mayor of your hometown and, and to think that people can't even sit on their porch anymore and, and there's nothing that you can do. So I go to Washington asking for help. This is in December of 2005. I went to Washington and asked for help. I told them about the gangs that were moving into town. I told them about the illegal immigration problem that I had. I told them that we, you know, we want a budget in Hazleton to be able to deal with this problem. Our population grew by 50%. I have not enough money to deal with it. They brought all these experts in to see me. It was great. I, it was terrific. I spent the whole day with all these experts. At the end of the day, they gave me this nice coffee mug, and a pat on the back, and they sent me home. And I realized the federal government who caused this problem wasn't going to help at all. And I was on my own. I went home, and a couple months later, a young man, 29 years old, Derek Kishlein, father of three children, while he was working on his pickup truck, had some words with the head of the Latin Kings, Pedro Cabrera, who was arrested seven times before he came to Hazelton. Went in, got a gun, stuck it in Mr. Kishline's face, and shot and killed him. I had to sit with Derek's mom and dad when I asked, you know, why was this man even here? I had enough. Enough was enough. I took an oath of office that I was going to protect the people I, uh, that put me in office, and that's why I created the law that I did. It wasn't because it wasn't because I we we didn't want immigrants to come to Hazelton. In fact, in fact. If we enforce the rule of law, we will be helping the immigrants who are coming here. We will be giving them the opportunity that they came to America for. We are denying them that opportunity by bringing in 20 million people to compete for their jobs, to make them work for less money. That's not helpful. What's happening 